Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 37 of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. So in the previous episode, yesterday, Friday, we did this really cool pool area, as well as the backyard. Added a little bit of lighting out here. I realize now that we're probably going to need a few lights in the middle of this thing too, so we'll go ahead and put some lanterns down, just so it's not too dark when you're taping, taking a dip at night. Uh, you don't you, you don't want to be in the dark, okay? It could be kind of scary. There is pool lights down in here, as well as an area for a secret room that we have not built out yet. Uh, but in this episode, we're going to be furnishing the inside of our house, finally. And we're going to be able to move in. At least that's the hope. I don't know if we're going to get that far, uh, but that's the goal, at least. So let's go and check on our stuff. Let's clean up our inventory a little bit, and I'll meet you guys back in the house. We're going to get more of this material right here. All right, let's hope that this auto smelter is close. We're almost done, yes. That's perfect. So if you missed this episode, I don't remember, I think it was episode 33. Uh, I don't know. This is like the fifth episode in a row I've recorded. It's four in the morning right now. But this auto smelter is super thin and uh, really efficient. So if you want to copy it, feel free. Um, I, I, I'm kind of proud of it, but I don't know if that's like a really like well-known design and everyone does that like at the beginning of the game and I should have a fancier one now. I'm not sure, uh, but we do need to move those chests inside as well. Um, they're just chocked full of stuff, but I do have a whole stack of chests in our inventory, so I hope I hope that lends credence to what's about to happen in here. We're going to make this thing look real, real good. But first off, let's start by building the floor. Finally, after all this time, guys, we're going to have floor in here. Um, so I remember saying I'm going to divide the rooms in here. I'm not exactly sure. I may go with an open floor plan. Uh, we'll just have to see how it how it works out. Uh, but typically, if you go with an open floor plan, you're going to lose a lot of space, you know, because you don't have interior walls. So I may just go with interior walls. This little temporary service ramp, we will not be needed anymore. Not in the least bit. Um, I don't really have a... Actually, I, I was going to... I was lying. I do have a lot of spruce wood on me. So I'm sorry if I seem like I'm a little bit out of it. <laughs> I have been recording for a long time, like four hours or so. Um, you know, I'm doing this all in preparation. I leave pretty soon to go on vacation uh, but I'm getting all these done in advance all six of them in one night why you ask I don't know why I, I could have I could have spaced it out a lot more but I'm, I'm just a moron sometimes um, but yeah this is the inside it looks pretty good uh, I think for right now we're just gonna hang some random lights in here we do have glowstone so we can do some pretty cool modern-esque lights but for now we'll just sort of light this thing up with some random little lanterns hanging from the ceiling and we'll do a couple over here as well Okay, looks good to me, and then one in the entrance can't hurt. Let's go up to the second floor. We haven't been up here too much, uh, <laughs> obviously because there's still torches here, so we do need to add some lights up here too. And uh, we can hang them from the walls um, in a variety of spots up here, which is nice. So there's a lot more room up here than there was down there. And it's a smaller room too. So this is probably where our bed will go. Um, I don't really know what else to put in here. We're, we're mainly just going to have chest storage in our house. That's really all we use it for, um, to sleep and stuff. We'll make it look really good, don't get me wrong. Uh, but there's not there's not just a whole ton of stuff I can put in here. Uh, okay, and then we'll do one more light over here to make it look a little bit better. And then obviously some in the middle because it's kind of dark in here. Kind of looks spooky. There we go, perfect. Nice. Okay, so I went a little crazy on the lanterns, but you know what? I don't really have anything else to use for lighting. I have glowstone, but I can't really implement that too well. Um, so let's start dividing the walls a little bit. Uh, but first things first, I'm going to move the stuff that's in those chests out there into here. Um, and it's nice because we can work in the dark now, but I'll go ahead and just dump my inventory into this chest. And then the other ones I will fill up with the stuff that's out there. So I'll be back in a bit. I'm going to move everything into here. Okay, so let's get all our stuff back. We've transferred everything. Um, I don't really know what we need. I think it goes in that order and then we need our steak We're gonna need chests obviously and we're gonna need some spruce wood um, And then one of these chests is the wood chest. Yes, we still have a lot extra. Okay Let's look over here and let's remove this stuff because we don't need it anymore We finally completed this project as, as best I can now We just have to fill in the inside which is honestly a really fun part of it um, interior design is probably my strong point in Minecraft at least I don't think in real life that really applies to too much, uh, but at least in Minecraft, I could say I'm good at interior design. Um, so the entryway, I kind of want to be, I don't know, I kind of want the wall divided right here. 
Um, now we can make it look good in modern. We can add nice stair patterns and stuff. Uh, but like I want this room to be its own sort of room, right? Um, in this light, I don't know exactly what I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> but we don't really want, I, I don't really want it to be like that. So we can have a room right here and then we can bring this wall over too. Um, and like I said, we can make this a lot more open than it looks right now. So don't worry about that. Um, but we'll have to add more lighting as we break it all that all the lantern lighting is honestly temporary I don't think we're gonna need it uh, To stay like that we can add some fancier lights uh, But for now, let's just get the basic floor plan drawn out so that we can start to Establish rooms where we're gonna put chests and stuff But a good majority of these rooms are just gonna be chests because we don't really need anything else um, at this point in our world um, we just need chest storage and we don't have enough of it. So that's why we need more and then we can even have this room split as well um, and There's not really a wall divider there. So what you can do is just end the wall kind of close to the glass and uh, It'll just look like it's supposed to look Look at that just like that. There's plenty of room to run around here Now we have four rooms instead of just one so it already feels a lot bigger um, now going up here, we can do the same thing. Same rule applies, except we need to be using smooth stone, uh, which I seem to have smelted all of it. Interesting. Uh, whoops. Okay, well, let me go run back to my mining outpost, which is way the heck over here, but you know what? I don't mind going for a jog. I'll meet you guys with some stone. Look at this. See, I mean, like, we have a lot of chests in here. The same rule is going to apply at that house. We're going to need a lot. Uh, these are literally all full, too. And look at that, guys. When we go up here, there's even more chests. And guess what? They're all full. Um, not not the ones on the back. And then we go up here, there's more chests. And then we go all the way to the top, there's no chests up there. But there's a lot of chests in here. Um, and we didn't use all of them, so it may have went a little bit overkill, but it's okay. I don't think we're going to go overkill on this house. Uh, do we have any extra chests here? I feel like that's something I would have here, but no, it doesn't look like it. I have a lot of signs, though. Thank you to all the super chat donators, but no, we don't have any. That's okay. All right, I'll meet you guys back at the modern house. Even just walking up to this house, guys, you can just tell it's on another level compared to our other house. I haven't gotten to see any feedback at all about any of the builds that I've done, uh, just because, you know, I've been on vacation. Um, well, I'm, I still see the comments when I'm on vacation, uh, but I haven't seen, like, you know, the comments in between these episodes so that I could change things if need be. Uh, just because of the fact that, well, again, I have not, um, I'm recording these all in one night, so it's kind of, it would be kind of impossible for that to happen. But, I assume you guys like it, and I hope you do. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's 4 a.m., which is pretty late. This is the fifth episode in a row I've recorded. Got one more to go after this. Um, I'm surprised I actually got a house that looks this good all in one night. I'm proud of myself, though. I'm glad I can still build... Uh, at least to some degree. Okay, you know what? The upstairs floor, I think it's just going to be a nice looking bedroom. So why am I even dividing it? See, that's the kind of mistake I'll make it for in the morning. So let me let me remove this wall. So one thing I really need to get. Um, let me put this back since I kind of destroyed it. I need to get some item frames so we can actually properly label our chests for once. Because we have never properly labeled them. Um, we also want to get this black glass out of this chest. And we're going to do the same sort of fencing around this, just so you don't walk off to walk off the edge. Um, that honestly is not a great thing to do. Um, and then we should have some sort of wall. No, it's going to connect. Don't do that. Well, let's go down here. Let's determine the best room to be the chest room. Uh, not that one. Not this one. Maybe this one. Let's see. One, two, one, two, one, two. So we can put a pretty good bit of chest in here. I do need to grab some slabs though, so we can properly do this. And I'm kind of getting in like, like, like on the bad entrance. There's technically you could just walk right under this fence, but it's easier to get from here to here by just taking a shortcut. But there is a proper way to do it, so it's not like it's all jank or anything. Okay, we'll fill in all this. You won't even be able to tell the difference from the top, but the chests will know the difference because they can open. Oh. I love and hate the new feature. I love that you can put chests next to each other. I don't like that you have to click on the other chest, but it is kind of like a hopper. It's the same principle, and I bet eventually I'll get used to it, but even after this many years of it being like that, I'm still not used to it. So how many years that will take, I'm not sure, uh, but you know, I can hope that eventually I'll be able to. Okay. 
Let's get all these. Just a few more chests. I'm sorry it's not the most exciting thing in the world. Uh, we need to move this. This, <laughs> this lantern can't be here anymore. And then this wall right here, honestly, it, I don't like how that is, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, I don't mind placing chests against the wall here. I just don't know how many more we even... Let's see. Two, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, yeah, we, we can do this, actually. Let's put this out, and we'll put all these lights back in a bit. Uh, but these do not connect or anything, so they won't look bad. But we're just going to do two rows again. Perfect. Okay. Can I get it? There we go. And then we don't really have any other chests. We have five more. Uh, these are five high, so you know what? We can just put these right here. And that'll be perfect. I just don't want to have any extra chests. And honestly, it's satisfying when you have the exact right amount. So that's a lot more storage than I previously had uh, by, a good, by a good degree. Like, that's a lot, lot more. So let's see what we can do with this glowstone as far as lighting goes in here. Because I think we could do some lights in the floor. That would look pretty cool. Pretty neat. Um, let's see if they work though Because I like this lantern. It's it's okay. I guess but it'd be better in here to have like some sort of nice light in the middle Just kind of lit the whole thing up Like that that would look a lot more classy than just a hanging lantern The hanging lanterns other places they look fine, but not in our chest room guys. This is where our valuables are There we go it's still a little bit dark. You know what? Whatever. We'll put a lantern in the corner. We'll put a lantern in the corner. Call it quits. Okay. So let's go get some leather from our house. We also want to move our bed into here. Oh, man. I hope I don't die on my way. I don't think I will. Thanks to these newly installed lights that we installed not too, too long ago, a couple weekends ago, um, our base is now a lot more mob-free at night, which is good. I was scared to travel through this whole compound at night because so many mobs would spawn. That it was like almost impossible to get through. It really was. Okay, so what was I going to grab? My bed. Nice. Some leather. Nicer. And then I th think I know the recipe for these. I'm pretty sure. Do we have any extra sticks? That's what I was looking for. We don't. Uh, we can use this to make some sticks. Okay. And then I think it's just this. Yeah, okay. So we can make 54 item frames. I doubt we need 54 item frames, uh, but we are going to need a good bit. So I'll make even more than this. It can't hurt, guys. It really can't. And plus, these are so cheap to make. I don't mind making a bunch. 34. If we need more, we need more. We, I'll keep the leather with us. Uh, but let's take our bed. Can you die a bed after the fact? After you make it? Let me check. I don't think you can, but that would be kind of cool. Blue bed, nice. I don't have cyan dye. I don't even think that's a dye in this game, but maybe blue and white would make cyan. Hmm. Potentially. I have no idea. Ooh, one thing I do want to do since it is... <gasps> See what I mean? Mobs are out to get me, guys. Look, there's creepers. There's zombies. Creepers. There's no zombies, but there is a creeper. Gotta be careful. Don't you touch my new modern house. I paid a million dollars for it. Ha ha ha. Kids think you're kids think you're hot. You can't get me. Okay, so there's absolutely no lighting out here, <laughs> like literally none. Uh, let's remedy that. Uh, okay, we can put this right here. My inventory is again cluttered to heck, but it's okay. Put some lanterns out here. We have slowness on now. It's, I'm sorry, it looks like I'm walking so slow. Let me put up, let me put up my stone. But it is kind of cool to have like a I don't know somewhat of an airlock. Spiders can still crawl up it. Man, this is dark in here. Okay, we'll put another lantern right there. Do I have more lanterns? <laughs> Do I have more? Dude, I made two stacks. I'd hope I have more. Uh, see, they can't even get up because of all the little slots on the sides. Okay. Um, but what I was saying is glowstone can go all around the outside of the house. I'm sorry. I'm just so paranoid that I'm just going to get shot and killed by a skeleton. Or a creeper is going to walk up and just blow up my new beautiful base. Maybe I should do this... Not at night, but you know what? It's okay. Ah, uh, see, I want stone in there. You know what? I'm gonna let it go. I will. I will hardly ever look at these lights, and it's a survival world. If I was spending a lot of time making this like a really, really thought-out creative build, 
I would go and put the material under, but for this, eh, it, it, I don't really care. Yeah, three and then three, perfect. Okay, uh, now for lighting under here, mm, I don't know, I was gonna do every block under it, but that's kind of extreme, so let's just do a few. I just hope I don't break too many. See, I only clicked once and it, and it broke that many, so see, it is kind of tricky to get. Okay, here we go, any creepers? Anyone want a piece of this? No? Good. You're smart. I got an efficiency four sword, even though efficiency has nothing to do with swords. Yeah, I got an efficiency four sword, so watch out, guys. Get eaten alive by the Neo Cubist. Can you tell I'm sleepy? <laughs> we got one more episode after this, which is going to be the best one because I'll. Oh! Not my modern house! I hope my neighbors don't hate me. It's four in the morning. <laughs> They're probably like, what? Not my modern house, dude. What are you doing? What are you what are you doing, dude? Okay, so I lost some trap doors and some leaves. That's okay. I have both. And I have a bed in my inventory. I just wanted to do it in the dark so I could see what I was doing was working. Dude, I'm a straight idiot. Okay. Do I have any more leaves? I think I might. Yes. Okay. Do I have any more trap doors? Yes. Anything else missing? I don't think so. See, that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. And it's all... See, these creepers... See, they're spawning all so close to me. I just need to sleep. You know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with this. No, creeper, stay out of here. I I live in a fancy house now. I have no time for, for your people. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect spot for a bed. Obviously, we'll change it, change the bedroom a little bit, uh, probably not next episode, but at some point, we'll come in here and renovate it properly when I'm not so dang tired. Uh, so we're just going to go out this way, because I know there's a creeper. I'm going to watch these guys. Haha, <laughs> burn for me, zombie. Uh, do I have enough dirt to fill the hole? 36, yeah. Okay. Please, no creepers, please. I'm surprised it didn't blow up the glass. No, I don't have enough dirt, do I? I thought for sure the grass was done for here, but nope. Out of everything, it was okay. The leaves, though, they're very soft. I guess they're a very soft block in Minecraft. Okay, let's put these trapdoors back and then be done with... We, we Okay, so we put this light down and then we died. And I'm worried that there's still a creeper out front of my house. It wouldn't have despawned yet. Oh my god, he got in. No, he didn't. I'm just seeing stuff. No, we're good. I guess he did despawn. Well, good. I'm glad there's no creepers to uh, sneak up and sneak up and explode on me. Um, this light will be centered if I do it in these blocks right here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Let me eat some food. Okay, let's get to the front, and then uh, we could we can deal with one light here. It doesn't need to be super lit up on the outside, but I did see that stuff was spawning up here. <laughs> so that's not ideal, uh, but I don't really know how to remedy that. Let me see how this looks with some slabs. Yeah, you know what? That may be a better choice here on some spots, and then they and then they can't spawn there. Yeah, that that is a better choice. Okay. Did I do it on the corner? Yeah, I did. Okay. I like that a lot more. So, see, again, little things will just change here and there. Um, and that makes it less prone to things spawning. I don't think there's any lights in here, which is, a, like, like, a big problem. So, you know what? We're going to put a light right here. Okay, and then we're going to... See, it's bothering the heck out of me right here that I don't have it filled in. So, you know what? We're going to fill it in. going to waste it. And waste the glass okay there we go so that's a little bit of lighting and then we should probably do some lighting right here too these ones yeah see there's yeah I'm not gonna do that okay okay that's a lot better and this is like a secure airlock there's no way a creeper can get in this at least I don't think so L let me check Did that just make it noise huh but no, there, there's no way for things to get in. They, these bees keep coming over here. They're like, what is this? It came out of nowhere. Just He just started playing again. He, he was gone for weeks, and then he came back and just built this giant, giant f house. What's going on? Uh, we, we will breed bees maybe not next episode, but in an episode soon. 
because um, I really do want to get started on that. It's been a long time coming, and I don't know why we have not done it yet. Okay, so we put them on the right, and then these guys can be overflow chests, so we can put these on this side. No way, dude. <laughs> okay, so we got close, but close, but no cigar in this case. Uh, we can put a craft table right here. That's all good, as long as it's modern. There we go. I literally could not even comprehend what I was making. And now, now I understand. Dude, I'm such an idiot. Okay. That's done. Now we need to organize these chests, which I am not going to do right now. It's been, it's, it, it's too late to organize them. Uh, but at least we have this part done, I guess. Okay, so yeah, we'll deal with that a later day. We have our temporary storage over here. We'll honestly leave it here. I'm not too concerned about it, but I've got to stop building for now. Um, I really want to go figure out the bees, but I also don't want to figure out a new thing right now. Um, hmm. Let me think of what to do. We still have an episode after this, too. Interesting. I know what we can do. All right, so I'm going to build a model of what we're going to do soon um, in this jungle area. So we're going to leave this house. We're going to take a little final look at it, a little gander from the outside, see how she looks. This matches, which is good. They all match. You know, there's a lot of spruce in this house, so... It's as matchy-matchy with the rest of the theme as I could go. Um, but I'm happy with it. I really am. I thought it was going to turn out a lot worse than it did. Uh, it's not the best modern build by any means. I'm not claiming it to be anywhere close. Um, I also didn't grab my food, but I'll go grab it in a second. And uh, let's head over to the jungle area. And uh, let's build a model again of the next project I'm going to build. I wanted to build a smaller version anyways first. But let me just grab my steak. I know where it is. It's right, right here. Where is it? There it is. Okay. And then we'll bring a little bit of wood. No, we don't need wood. In fact, we don't need anything. There's so much stuff over there. It's fun to ride the ice boat highway, though. I just came upon this thing. It's just so cool. You can just run right through it. It's not super safe from mobs, though. But let's hop in a boat. And let's go. All the way to there. Let's see how good of a run I can do. Let me, let me, let me just get started. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang it. <laughs> See what I mean? It's always near the end where it messes me up. I feel like once your velocity reaches maximum, like right here, it just gets so hard to control. I try to take this turn wide, but I can never get it. I have not gotten it smooth once. I've never gotten this where I have not hit the wall at least once. I think I had an almost perfect run, but I hit it once right at the end. Um, I don't count like this area. Th this little off ramp is... It, it doesn't count. Not for me at least. But yes, I'm going to build a model of what we're going to build pretty soon. Um, this is going to be the project that is going to um, and, and accompany a lot of this island. It's going to be a village, uh, but it's also going to have a lot of this as well. A big version of what I'm about to build, which I know you're probably like, dude, can you shut up and just build it? I don't care about the, all this suspense, man. I just want to see it. That's what I've been waiting for. It's what's on the thumbnail. I get it. I get it. So we'll build a little model of what we're going to do. <laughs> I know I've said that a million times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, no, it needs to be 13, 13, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 2, 3, 4, All right, I don't need to count anymore, it's a square, you have any ideas yet? Actually, I think you all know what it's going to be, maybe not, maybe I won't make that the thumbnail, who knows? Uh, but yes, we're going to be building a giant pyramid. And when I say giant pyramid, I mean I'm maybe going to do a 50 by 50 base pyramid. I'm not really sure. Um, I may build a tiny bit of it on the actual episode and then live stream the rest because it's going to take ages to build. Uh, but we, we may even do a 100 by 100. I don't know if it'll be out of jungle wood or stone, but I think jungle wood because that's the theme of the builds over here so far. It's all been jungle wood. So we're going to try to stick to one wood theme per biome. Um, we've only been in the snow biome. This is the only other biome we have. And um, by the way, you're wondering, where are all these dogs coming from? Lauren loves dogs. She loves them in real life and loves them in the game. And so she's been breeding a lot of these dogs. And she has an army. So if I ever if I ever accidentally hit her, uh, that army is coming after me with all of its might. And it's not fun because there's there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, five, seven. There's like almost 30 dogs now, which is just too many. In my opinion. Don't tell her I said that, though. Last time I did that, someone super chatted during the live stream. Like, hey, Neo said not to tell you this. And I was like, hey, 
Come on, guys. We're I can't have any confidence in you guys. You guys are just ruining all my plans. Not really, but um, yeah, I'm not really sure what the pyramid will look like exactly. Um, but I'd like it to kind of like I don't know, be something like this, I guess, like that. And then we'll have we'll, we'll do it on every single corner like this. I think it could look pretty cool. Um, from the inside, it, it's gonna look a little wonky right now, but I can always make it look better in the future. Uh, again, I'm just trying to build a model of what I'm gonna do, and we'll probably keep this one, you know, as a memory of you know what I said I was gonna do, <laughs> and then what I did, what we did, I guess. Because again, I'm only gonna build a little bit of it in the Let's Play, because as you can tell, it, it it'll get monotonous quite quick. Like it's not the the most exciting thing you've ever seen, especially when I when I have to spend like building one layer, it'll take like. 30 40 minutes that's that's when you have to live stream it because otherwise no one's gonna watch your videos if they're like three hours long and all you do is build a pyramid maybe they would there's people who watch the entire live streams god bless their hearts they 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 really do and i don't i messed this up bad i don't know how they handle it i really don't uh but yeah let's look at it from afar I, again this is just a preemptive design I've, i haven't really looked at it yet but yeah see that could be pretty cool right i think so um, so we'll probably do some pyramids. Obviously, I think I'll, you know, probably try out a few designs um, on my creative world before we go, before we go full steam ahead on an actual, you know, permanent design that's going to be giant. Let me wait to sleep. Hold on. Okay. So again, I don't know exactly how it's going to look, but I hope that it turns out like this. Maybe that would help it out. Yeah. So you get to see me do some live building, some live idea thinking. If you're wondering what these things are over there, that's where if you donate on the live streams via Super Chat, a built-in YouTube donation system, uh, you get your very own sign. We have all these filled with signs. And then we have a pile of barrels. Uh, but yes, this is where all of my supporters go. Thank you to all these people. I really do appreciate you guys. And these are the original founding of fathers and mothers of this town, this beautiful, beautiful town. Um, it's not a town yet. <laughs> I say this beautiful, this beautiful to be town, um, because we have not started anything. We haven't even finished flattening it out. We're like a quarter of the way done. It looks like we're halfway done. Uh, but this, this area actually isn't a very big area, believe it or not. Um, this area, like right here, that is where the majority of the island is. And it sucks because I'm going to flatten out the whole thing. I, I say I, me and Lauren will flatten out the whole thing. That's going to take the longest because, well... It starts to go up in elevation and doesn't really stop. So we're doing the dirt first and then we're going to do the stone. So the next live stream will be next weekend. Um, it might be next weekend. I don't really know. This episode comes out on Saturday after I've finally gotten back. Uh, but again, this is all recorded on Thursday. But yeah, that's a model essentially of what I'm going to build. I don't know if it's going to be like some super duper cool build or not. Um, but it should be extremely big. And uh, hopefully I can make it look super duper cool. Um... Then we can go to the inside, and there's ton. Oh man, there's tons of options for lighting in here. Um, so I don't know. I, I feel like it's going to be a really fun build to watch. I don't know if I'd recommend building one yourself, uh, but it, it should be fun to watch me struggle through. Uh, but I think you know I have to fill in this bottom area. I don't really know what we're going to do with it, but we'll have a giant pyramid, and we can just say we have a giant pyramid because who else has one? I'm sure some of you have one in a creative world tucked away somewhere from ages ago that you're just now remembering and are going to type a comment about, maybe. Uh, but today's secret code, which I don't even think there was one last episode, but today's secret code is going to be 6578. Go ahead and put that in the comments if you want to receive a heart from me. Um, everyone will get a heart, but if you especially want one for sure, um, then do something like that. But yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing at this point. I just wanted to build out the front a little bit. Uh, we could do a few fence posts like this. Cool, cool, and then put a door on the inside, and then, yeah, we have a pyramid of sorts. Oh, man, I didn't even make enough. Only made three fence, what? Oh, man, it's too late. Anyways, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm sorry I'm not in the, the best state of mind. I've just been recording so much more. I got one more episode after this, and then I'm going to go to sleep, and then it's almost Colorado time. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye.